For more than five years, private sector foundation has touted the Buy Ugandan, Grow Uganda slogan to little avail. It has come from just a cry and is now official government policy. Quality chemicals makes ARVs, it makes malaria drugs, but you find that government has continued importing malaria drugs from India, from other companies. They've continued importing ARVs. Why are they importing when we are making them here? Thus, at least 20% of government procurements will now have to be done locally by policy. But it does not only pertain to government. What this policy is going to do is that it's going to impose a tax on some of these foreign goods, especially when they realize that there is an industry that is booming here. If you're importing iron sheets from China and you have iron sheets here, we are, government is imposing a tax on those iron sheets so that they are not affordable. Then there are foreign contractors and companies that set up here but employ foreign nationals almost across the board. They've been importing all categories of labor. Top management, middle management, unskilled. So we are controlling that through our policy. We are saying we are allowing you to bring in a certain number of, of people in the middle, but unless that skill is not here. But there's been no limitation. 50% of all supermarket shelf space by this policy will have to be provided to local products. The challenge left for Ugandans is to ensure quality of the products and for the government to implement this policy. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.